Bonjour, comment tu t'appelles? Je m'appelle Matthew Petit Pois. Welcome to Pritchard's Proper Vegan Cooking. Just enjoying a glass of Chateau Neuve de Pain. Right, we are carrying on with our original dips series. I've done the hummus and I've done the salsa. Uh, two easy recipes, really easy. Follow them, happy days, taste lovely. Today we're going to do the guacamole. Again, another easy dip but a lot of people don't know how to do it. All you need is one avocado full of great fats, really good, healthy fats, good fats. When I'm doing a triathlon or an endurance event, I will eat these raw like an apple. One little tomato, one little lonely tomato, look at the nose, and a bit of lemon juice. And we're just gonna smash, smash, smash them up, and then we're gonna add some smoked paprika and a few little uh, jalapeno dried red chilies just to give it a little bit of a kick start with the avocado now going into a supermarket to buy avocados does my head in you literally go in grab an avocado it's, it's rock solid i hate rock solid avocados why are you trying to sell me rock solid avocados and they cost a fortune so you can't win but anyway these are already soft and softened and they feel they feel quite nice anyway cut through the middle and follow the knife around give it a twist Lovely avocado. Right, if you're only going to use half an avocado because a full one's too much, then keep this one and put this one in the fridge because if the stone stays in the middle and it's in the fridge, it'll stop the avocado from going brown. Split it down the middle. You can use a spoon to scoop it out or you can just do what I'm doing, peel the skin off. Chuck it in the bin. These are pretty good avocados, actually. Chop them up, shove them in. Lemon, need the juice of one lemon. Again, by squashing it and rolling it, you're releasing the juices. Stick it in my little um, new contraption I've got. We'll have a, use a whole lemon here. And then we've got the tomato. Cut it up into little pieces. And then we've got the uh, smoked paprika. Not too much, you just want to give it a little. So you've got that little bit of a kick in the back of your throat. And then some dried chilies. Again, not too much. And of course, Himalayan salt, black pepper. And that smoked, that smoked paprika should leave a nice little, uh, it should give a nice little taste of the guacamole. Tomato, bring in a nice little bit of freshness. I mean, you could, if you wanted to, put this into a food blender. I can't be asked. Please do my head in. I hate technology. What's wrong with your right hand? <clears throat> Smells lovely as well. You could, if you wanted to, add some chilies, fresh chilies. Always, always, always season your food properly. When I was in college and, uh, if I didn't season anything properly, chef would just go clip you around the ear, take it back, start again. And there we have it. Mmm. Absolutely amazing. Smooth, really smooth, with just little bits of kick of that smoked uh, paprika, the lemon juice, and those tomatoes. You've seen yourself, look how easy that was to make. Let's serve this up. Good fats. Good taste, happy days. When you're watching Wales play England next time and you've got a load of friends over and you're all having an argument on who's gonna win, was to dip in the tacos, up yourself to Pritchard's vegan guacamole. As usual, the recipe's down below. You'll follow the hummus, the salsa, and now the guacamole.